Hello, ladies and gentlemen, BuilderBot back. Always room for improvement in this place. What I've done now is on a whole efficiency sweep now that I've worked out how to do things a bit better. It's always a pro. It's not a good thing when I have a million different. a million items running on the conveyor belt at any one time. At present, you see the conveyor belt, the main belt going through everything, is considerably more empty than it was before, which means what I, when I need to get something through, it's much easier to do so. One of the main ways I've done this is with the science factories here. I have isolated their individual components as much as possible and put them on their own belts. For instance, all the green ones require transporter belts and inserters to produce Science Pack 2. That's just how that works. So, instead of having a million trans a million uh, conveyors going along the central part they're starting to become the primary component on the conveyor on the main conveyor belt because there are so many of them being produced by this thing here i literally had one factory making them but they they weren't being consumed fast enough so instead of doing that i instead set up this dual conveyor system here the the transporters are built up at, the, up at this factory here, transferred by the pickers, by the, in, the lawn inserters, down across to the conveyor belt here, as just as normal. Then it's split onto two lanes that go past all the greens. This green here can grab from there. This, then it passes this green can grab from here. Actually, I don't need this here. If this is here, I can just. Oh, that's cooler. Otherwise, I'm gonna do that. Cool, right? These two greens can grab across with their lawn inserters, and as is this insert can grab here. Because the other component is this thing. I don't need you anymore, because... Do I need you? How are you getting access to that? Well, that's putting it back, damn it. I think I, I think this one's not going to get what it needs. No, no, it is. It's starting from here. Okay. So I didn't need that. I don't need you. I don't need you. So the greens are now getting their conveyors from there, and the other thing they need is inserters. The inserters are passed, are produced here by this thing, which never seems to have enough gears, but hey, at least it's trying. And as you just saw, it did go, so it's not completely dead. It is functioning. There, it puts, it puts the inserters on the track as they pass by the green, various greens, they'll grab it as they can. I do need to get a few more gears to this thing, don't I? Otherwise this... Oh, whatever. Anyhow, the, the inserters go across here, it'll pass to these things. And if that one doesn't, it passes under here, which that split. And then split again, so it ends up in these boxes, which feed those greens. And this box which feeds these greens. As far as these greens over here, it's pretty clear that they can get their conveyors from the other side of the split rail. And they get their inserters from this builder, which puts them along this path here. And it will be they'll be picked up and grabbed by the various green factories as as required. And or by the assembly machine too which turns into a fast converter before passing it to the assembly machine to turn it into a smart inserter because this is going to go all the way around the main path to the blue science motrons so they can produce blue science. And it seems to be functioning because as you see I have a, a buttload of green science which is actually starting to become an issue. I have a splitter thing there. I'm thinking I'm needing to do another buffer because I need to be able to get those blues in here, and they're not getting in here. Uh, I need to see how to siphon away blue greens well enough to put the blues in. That's always going to be a pain. <laughs> it's a 24, so we have a backlot of blues. 
How do I deal with this? I never like having bad thoughts, but what am I supposed to do? I need to make I need to get blues on this conveyor with the greens. That's absolutely a necessity. Yeah. I th there's always every time I make an update something breaks, you know? Well, at least that will allow some blues in. But what I, ulti I as I just mentioned, I ultimately just I need to have all the blues on one side and all the greens on another side. So starting to think, yeah, I'm going to read jigger this. I'll put that up. I don't need that on the ground. All right, I got it. If I do this, do do. And if, if I do that, this isn't going to work at all now, is it? Let's so put them on the same side. Alright. So this one, just by its nature, is going to load all the greens onto the left side of this conveyor, which is also the outside of the conveyor. So I need to load the blues onto the inside of the conveyor. Luckily that's possible with a picker, because pickers always load to the opposite side of a belt. So these blue ones that just got planted, they're going to be put on the inside of the belt. Alright, so this will be a little while to clear itself, but I believe this new arrangement requires the greens will all, any new green will be placed on the outside, and any new blue will be placed on the inside. And just to actually load the blues. I'm just going to temporarily put this here. Because what I need is to get these blues. Okay, there we go. Actually, okay, I probably should have done that by hand. But now the now the blues are always going to be loaded on the inside. The greens always loaded on the outside. We no longer I have no more blues in my inventory. No longer will we should no longer have an issue with that. I'm sure, right now there's greens all over both sides of the belt. As they get used, though, that will diminish. The blues seem to always be waiting. Well, that's the nature. They are science tech three. Making greens is a whole lot easier. And luckily, since I made this area here, except for this red here, which I pretty, which I don't really see a good way of converting to a green. So it is the only red down here. Other than that, they're all greens, and the reds are being produced over here. That's definitely a bonus because it means that even if the greens get backlogged so far that they end up gumming up all these belts, because it's possible, this chest. Will take a will take a long time to fill, but if it ever did fill, the greens will start backlotting down here and might interfere with the reds' ability to come up. But since the reds are coming in from a sep from a separate side, that's impossible. These ones will never be blocked. <laughs> the thing that's limiting the reds is the fact that not enough panels and not enough copper. I think I need to fix my copper. There's a copper line waiting there, but I'm not seeing much copper elsewhere. Okay, I need to go turn my figure out what's up with the copper. I was fine with it getting diminished for a long time because, well, there was quite frankly a ridiculous supply. But it's starting to get too low. But uh, all three of these are making. There's nothing wrong with my copper supply. I must really be eating it. This is even offloading onto the belt instead of loading it up. I loaded it on before when there was too many, so it's actually putting four on the belt at any given time. Okay, let's let's just analyze this. This is taking copper. This is taking copper. This is taking copper. Uh, those aren't. Yeah, stop moving. That's not. That's not. 
So there's three things taking copper so far. That doesn't take copper. Oh, this was loading copper. Now that's full though, so it's not going to load anymore. Alright, so we should be good on copper going for it. Yeah, it's starting to grab. This thing must have been still filling. And science is green with the whole factory mumbo jumbo from hell. Oh, also I added, um, eh, stupid pipes. I added this huge solar array over here because I kept having issues where the electric demand satisfaction wasn't full. At night, that's still an issue because, well, electric solar panels only work during the day. And this, and uh, I showed off the steam coal generator elsewhere. But other than that, as, as you can probably see, there's still coal on the belt right now because the coal just simply hasn't been used entirely yet. That's the only reason it's still there. And fed. There's none going down, it's only coming up. Which means it should end end soon. Yeah, in fact, I think this coal here it might actually be the, the, the last travel of coal. Because it's no longer coming down at all. Which means the coal is fine when we cleared off the main through belt entirely. Because I find, because now that I have electric furnaces, I no longer need coal to fuel furnaces, and because I got rid of all the boilers in this area, the only place things are using, the only thing using coal in this area at all is the plastic, because coal is required to make plastic. So I've got a couple of coal mines that do nothing but feed the plastic plant with the lawn picker reaching over, lawn inserter reaching over. So there's no need for the coal to be on the belt, which is why these things are slowly, very slowly, but surely, removing all the coal from the belt. And, well, I guess that's going to take its time. Yeah, I guess they're going around again, because this thing removed as much as it can, but now that chest is full. Which means the coal that's there is going to keep looping until, as, until this thing can start taking. So basically, the only thing taking off from this belt is the plastic factory, which isn't going to use that much coal. But it'll have essentially an infinite supply, so I don't need this coal for any other reason. And the only other coal thing is the thing way off over here in the side, which is pushing into the steam plants. As far as back here, we're doing the oil conversion to run the plastic plant. I had, I honestly. The oil run, petroleum gas runs the plastic plant, and it runs this sulfur to sulfuric acid to batteries to science three converter. Other than that, I haven't, I honestly haven't even seen any use yet for the uh, light oil or the heavy oil, which is why, because this thing has to output all three. You can't just take one and dump the others. They have to go somewhere, which is why I have these massive storage tanks that are just filling up with light and heavy oil. I don't know what to do with it yet. I'll figure that out eventually. That's right, because all I'm using from these refineries is the petroleum gas. Well, I don't have that much new to talk about in this episode. Ooh! My mini-map has updated because I use the scanner. So it seems I've seen, I can see much more even if I haven't been there before. That's nice. Just, just means forest over there, desert over there. Go figure, I found a big oil derrick place out in the middle of the desert. This is not the way you would expect, way out there. But that'll probably be it for this episode. So I don't episode. I don't have that much else to talk about right now. I just wanted to show off the fact that I've. Why is this doing this? Crud. All right, I'm gonna have to nail some of this just to clear up space. There. 
steel plates are not supposed to be there. And you need regular pickers. You know what? I'm just going to make some of those. There. Start pumping out the smarts. That way, I just give this all the fuel it needs for a while. The smart pickers are going to start coming out here. They'll get pushed onto the main belt. Oh, this is still offloading coal. I got rid of my buffers. They were starting to become more of a pain than a help. They were you they were they were important when I had such an overload of everything that I just needed to clear space. But now that I've fixed it and I only have a few things coming through the main belt at any given time. Because all the all the refined goods are just are isolated to their own spaces, therefore I don't need the buffer anymore. And and I'll follow those just to show off because they will go all the way around here, all the way around here. And this nabs them as they pass. Along with the advanced circuits and the steel. So that they can be inserted into here and ultimately here or here to make blue science. That looks like it's staying full, so I'm going to replace it with that. So it's going to be a ways off, because it seems they use up the advanced inserters way quicker than the... The smart inserters way quicker than the steel, and even quicker than the advanced circuits. Uh, that means both of these... Now that those are all here, that means both of these will be running for a while. There's clearly enough batteries. The battery has all its supply of... Iron plates, copper plates, sulfur and sulfuric acid that it needs to keep making as many batteries as it wants. Which are just gonna wait here to be inserted for the science motron. <laughs> Still a bit of an issue filling up. How do I go about fixing it? I don't think there's any real way to go about fixing it. This thing just doesn't have to wait. They aren't backing up too much, and this when the, when that gap comes, they'll just load a pile in. So not that big a deal yet. And hopefully, ultimately, the greens will get grabbed out from the back, at least a little. So eventually, this will clear out and just leave the one panel. Oh well. That will be the end of that, unless I want to force this to go quicker. I could, actually. Let's do this. And this. Since the greens are supposed to be solely on the outside, Well, I actually have more fast than slows, don't I? If the greens are supposed to be slowly on, oh, solely on the outside, I can do the... Actually, I can't do that. I can do that to move them to the outside. Meanwhile, you can smart pick the blues. This way, greens are sh half of the greens are shifted over here and can only be moved to the outside, which will... Yeah, the other half still goes straight through. When it's full up, it's full up, so there's only so much it can do about this, but it will ultimately be pressuring the greens to go to the outside more, and any blues that happen to get switched over here will be moved to the inside, thus clearing up the inside path right quick for the blues. And then I'll have as much space on either as I want. Oh, I got another science. Can't do that, can't do that. I can do that. I just really, I learned that these, putting those there helps force them in better when a gap arrives. Or not. Oh, whatever. Eh, not much to be on. There's simply too many greens to put them on the outside quickly, but this will work on that and the keeping the blues on the inside at the same time. 
Looks like this always puts them over to the inside. And that'll, yeah, that'll be it for this episode. Not much else to talk about, and I don't want to just babble for incoherently forever. And my face red thing seems to have been annoying. So, remember to like the video, share the video, and subscribe if you want to see videos similar to this one. Goodbye.